I haven't unboxed a watch on the channel for literally months now. But today I'm going to make an exception. And that's because I've got a brand that I really, really think you need to be introduced to. Hi guys, my name is Jason and I am your watch guy today. Today I am unboxing a new release from Monroe. Now this watch really caught my eye when I went to British Watchmakers Day and the lads behind the brand were absolutely fantastic. I actually met Matt in Chester to pick this watch up, had a lovely chat with him and he told me all about the design of this watch and what's coming in the future. So many exciting things for this brand but first let's get into unboxing this. I can't tell you how excited I am to show you this watch. Now, I always think it's really interesting to see which way a new brand is going to approach the market. And this is their first release. So what you would usually expect is something really safe, almost familiar. But Mumbo didn't go that way. They decided to put all of their knowledge and all of their experience on the watch market into this piece. And this was in development for years. I spotted them on Instagram and I also met them at the British Watchmakers show and the lads were absolutely fantastic. But beyond that, their watches, dare I say it, were even more impressive. I love the passport style box. They've really outdone themselves with that. And up at the top here, we have Where Will Time Take You? Now, this is their adventure. It is a GMT World Time piece. Quickly glance over this. Obviously, our usual information sheet and here we have the Monroe Adventure. I have had a look at this watch, I have had it in person at the Watchmakers show but this one is yet to be unsealed because I wanted to share this experience with you because I think this brand is really worth sharing correctly. I love this Sunset Orange, this is their MA3, they have a unidirectional bezel, that's a ceramic bezel insert. I'll have to get that all the way back otherwise it will send my head west. As you can see, this watch isn't your average piece. We have huge fixed lugs that really do have a presence. And that's really one of the first things that drew me to them. I thought that was a really bold statement to make straight out of the gate. They originally launched this on Kickstarter. It was fully successful and I'm not surprised. It also comes supplied with two Monroe NATO straps. We have their rubber. Yes, rubber NATO nice little inscription on the back here one thing that me and matt were talking about is all the little easter eggs that they hide in their watches and it's often that you will continue to look through their piece and find new things that will catch your eye each time and that is no joke because there's a lot to like about this watch you all know that i'm a sucker for a orange dial this is also available in plenty of other colored options i think they have seven options so far obviously a dual crown and that top crown activates the inner rotating bezel with all the world times around and this is an nh34 movement the nail into the crowns and the bezel flow together another thing that matt was telling me about the uh, nail and which i thought was really really fun they insisted that it had to be pointed forward to display the moving forward aspect of the piece the adventure aspect of the piece now i'm going to get one of these bands unwrapped and i'm going to show you it on wrist and in its full form another lovely feature is the machinery on this nato strap and i didn't expect this rubber nato when i actually saw the watch at the show and it really added a lot to the piece for me i thought that it was really really unique almost as well as that it added so much quality to the piece. You know, you expect when you get a new micro brand, they all supply it with a NATO, a leather band, something like that. They don't want to do anything too out of the box and blow a budget. But Monroe went the entire way with this design. The bespoke NATO is really good quality too. Again, the same type of features, but also punch holes are leather stitched and that does add quite the quality to the piece. This one is more of the subdued look in my opinion, but we know that I don't go subdued. I like to go out the box. I like to wear something that catches the eye. So there's really no other option for me, but this orange spectacular rubber NATO. Again, the motto is inscribed to the back there, as well as that, the Monroe Adventure is also there. It's lovely that, absolutely lovely. 
This is one of the pieces that I came back from the show talking about for days on end. My girlfriend did get, not get a quiet second from me talking about this piece. Now let's just appreciate this in its full beauty. That is one hell of a watch and it just goes to show how much experience these lads have got in the market space and just their actual expertise coming into this design because they didn't go with a simple in the box thought. They decided to go the whole way and really put a staple on their first release. Now it is a bigger watch, but due to that bowl-like shape to the casing, I expect it will fit much nicer than the 44 mil suggests. Plenty of movement on the band too if you need a different fit. Have a look at that guys, that's beautiful. I can't wait to really wear this one in and get a full opinion for the review. Remember, this is just an unboxing and I will be back with the full review to give you guys an in-depth look at this piece. Some macro shots, some really beautiful product shots so you can really appreciate the full beauty of it. I'll be honest, I'm completely in love with it and I think you guys will be too. To me, this is obviously years and years of passion gone into one piece and they've just knocked it out of the park. Right, lads, and to be inclusive, the odd female that watches my channel, let me know what you think of this piece. Let me know what you think of Monroe. I think they have got such an exciting future in the watch world and the passion that they have behind this brand I can only see them going from strength to strength. This being their first release is a really bold choice, but they've executed this so well. Obviously, I will be reviewing this watch in the next couple of weeks, so watch out for that. Also, if you want to check out their brand a bit more, look into the description. Their website is there. They are also on Instagram, and they post all of their beautiful watches there. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.